In the northern Irish village of Cloa, an ancient rectory stands, its walls echoing with tales from the past. On a cold Christmas Eve in 1885, a tale of haunting began, one that would etch itself into the annals of the supernatural. The rector of the house, a man of faith and scepticism, was jolted from his evening repose by a deep, rumbling sound emanating from the kitchen. It was as if the earth itself was groaning beneath the house, yet strangely, not a single furnishing stirred from its place. The eerie rumble ceased as abruptly as it had begun, only to be replaced by the cacophony of smashing crockery from the pantry. With a mix of dread and curiosity, the rector, accompanied by his servants, cautiously approached the pantry. But before they could reach the door, it swung open of its own accord, revealing a chilling sight. A spectral woman, draped in white, her presence as cold as the winter air. The rector, driven by a need to confront this apparition, gave chase as the ghostly figure glided upstairs with an otherworldly grace. The pursuit ended as abruptly as it began, with the white woman vanishing into thin air, right before the eyes of the rector's son. This was not to be the last of her appearances. The white woman of Clogger Rectory would manifest several more times, each sighting less dramatic than the last, yet no less chilling. Her presence, a spectral reminder of a past long gone, continues to haunt the halls of the rectory, a ghostly enigma wrapped in the shroud of mystery. Thanks for watching this ghost story from Paranormal Tours. Come back soon for another haunted tale.